my superstars i produce two consistency of liquid soup for different purposes this is the very concentrated and thick one as you can see it's very very thick and the normal consistency that's the normal one right there very transparent hi superstars today we want to make transparent liquid soup first i'll be showing you some materials we'll be using for this this thing first you need to put on your hand gloves yes you need to protect your hands okay. because so we want our hand gloves and next we need to put on our nose mask these are the first and most important steps okay, so after now you may not hear me loud and clear so i have to do a voice over to tell you the things as we proceed so let's get started First, pour 25 grams of caustic soda into a bowl. Next, you pour in water into the caustic soda in the bowl. when you're pouring the water into the bowl be very very careful my superstars make sure it doesn't splash on you after that you use a wooden stick and stir it make sure the caustic soda dissolves completely in the bowl of water while stirring be very careful make sure the caustic soda doesn't splash on you if the water is not enough you can add more water we are going to be preparing about 15 liters of liquid soup so as you can see we have about a 10 liter jerry can filled with water and a 5 liter jerry can also filled with water that's the water I will be using for this production. So we'll stir. And now the caustic soda is completely dissolved. So you set it aside. Next, you're going to grab another bowl. And then you're going to pour in 125 grams of STPP. Okay, so that's our STPP in the bowl. Then you pour in your water. Okay, we need the water to dissolve the, the solids, the powder into, turn it to liquid. Okay, so we can mix it. So you're going to stir it, stir it. Dissolving the STPP was a bit tricky. It had some solid form so i had to like wait wait stir stir make sure everything is completely dissolved in the water okay so i added more water so it can help in the dissolution of the powder into liquid so keep turning keep stirring until all the powder is completely dissolved and blends into the water when it's well dissolved you set the sttp solution aside next you grab another bowl and in the bowl you pour in 125 grams of sls yes sls is just like rice as you can see okay so next you pour in water into the bowl of sls while you're pouring in the water you stir it you stir it stir it you can add more water with time you stir it stir it to ensure that it dissolves completely in the water
This stirring process goes on for about 5 to 10 minutes depending on how dissolved the SL is. Okay, we don't want to see any solid in the water. We want it completely dissolved. So that's why I'm still stirring. I want to make sure that it's completely dissolved in the water. In another pocket or bowl, pour in your soda ash. Pour it into the bowl or bucket. Be very careful. Make sure it doesn't touch your skin. Okay. After pouring it in, you then proceed to pour water into the bowl or bucket of soda ash. Be careful, my superstars, so it doesn't splash on you. After adding the water, you stir. You stir the soda ash in water till it mixes completely and turns into a solution. We want a well-dissolved solution. If the water is not enough, you can add more. Stir it, stir it till it dissolves completely in the water. Okay, you keep stirring until when it dissolves completely, then you can set it aside. Okay, my simple stars. Next, you're going to grab a bowl and pour in your nitrosol. For this, we'll be using 100 grams of nitrosol. Pour it into the bucket and then proceed to add water. While adding your water, please stir immediately. You need to stir it. This particular one needs to be stirred carefully because if you don't and it has lumps, you will have lumps in your liquid soap. So make sure you stir it very well. It's very, very well. Make sure it mixes and all the possible lumps are completely dissolved. Don't rush this particular one, my superstar. Stir it, stir it. Make sure you, you destabilize every possible lump in it. Make sure it goes off completely till you have a well blended solution. From there, you can add water. Add water, add water. Once it's completely dissolved and you have a consistent solution, you can then add as much water as possible. My superstars, at this stage, you can add water, a lot of water, because this is going to form the base of the liquid soap. This is where every other chemical, so you can add as much water as possible. Add it to half of the bucket. Next, you pour in your caustic soda solution and stir. While adding stir, stay, stir, stir, you need to stir. From this stage, you need to do a lot of stirring, my superstar. So before you start this production, make sure you eat what they call beta apu for energy. Then, after adding your caustic soda, you add your SLS. Add your SLS to it. Add it gradually, gradually. Okay, my superstars, add it, add it. Add your SLS. Stir, stir. You need to stir so that nothing forms, no solids are formed. It we want a transparent liquid soap. So you have to stir, make sure that no lump is formed. Okay, so we're done adding. Now we're going to add our STPP solution. 
you add it in beads and stay. You add it and stay. Stay. Okay. You add it, add it, add it, and continue staring. Keep staring, keep staring. Shortly after adding STTP, my phone went off during production and it took a while for me to notice. But after adding STTP, next you add your soda ash solution. I missed that part. Okay, so after adding and turning, mixing it up, my container I used for production was too small. So I had to pour it into a bigger bowl. This big bowl will be able to contain 20, 15 liters of our liquid wash, which we are going to produce. So next, we're con going to continue stirring. And now we are going to add our sulfonic acid. Okay, as you can see, we are adding it to the solution. We are adding it, stirring. While adding, you keep stirring. You keep stirring. Okay, my superstars, keep stirring to make sure that everything mixes very, very well. So after adding our sulfonic acid and stirring for a while, it became like this can see it's really really foamy next we're going to add a tech zapon okay we're going to for this we're using 80 grams of tech zapon pour it into the mixture and then start stirring Next, you add 15 grams of methyl paraben. This one is powdered in the powdered form. You can choose to add it in the powdered form or dissolve it in a little of water and then add it to your mix. Whichever works for you is fine. So for me, I put it in the powdered form and stirred very well. Next, we are going to add 50 ml of glycerin. Okay, so as you can see, we've added 50 ml of glycerin to the mix and then we are going to stir it so it can mix together. My superstars, as you can see, our liquid soap is very, very foamy. That means all the ingredients are very, very active and our liquid soap is going to be super foamy. Okay, so next we're going to add our color. For this, I'll be using the known green color. Okay, it's in powdered form, so you're going to go ahead and dissolve it in a little bit of water before adding it to our mixture. We don't want to add it in this powdered form because it will form patches. It will not dissolve well in the liquid soap. So you can add it in bits till you have your desired green color okay you can choose to use any color we have yield we have pink whatever is your desired color you can use it for your liquid soap after adding the color in beads i finally settled for this so that's our final color now we'll be adding our perfume yes you can add any perfume of your choice any fragrance of your choice for me i used banana and lemon flavor mixed okay so you can add any perfume of your choice and voila a liquid soap is ready my superstars look at that very very thick okay so this is very very thick and i want this is very very thick you know you can use it thick like that so i'll be making the very concentrated one 
and the normal concentration so now i'm taking the very concentrated one and pouring it into another bowl and i'll be adding water to it to dissolve it okay so you can add more water till you get the consistency you want okay so i'll keep adding water till i get the consistency i want okay so this looks perfect all right so i'll keep the concentrated one separately and i'll also keep this other one separately so you can do your production based on the desire of your customer and sell it after leaving your liquid wash for a few hours everything settles as you can see that's the concentrated one it is now very clear and transparent all the foam have settled that's the normal concentrated one it is now very clear and transparent okay so our liquid soap is ready <laughs> look at that my superstars very clear very transparent okay so you can go ahead and give this to your customers you can sell it and make money you can use it to start your liquid soap business okay my superstars would you love to know how to make liquid soap from three ingredients if yes please write it in the comment section and i'll go ahead and make the video and my superstars please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever there's a new video till our next video always and always remember that i love you bye superstars <laughs>